Fishing Gurus is brought to you in association with Daiwa. Welcome to Fishing Gurus. I'm Dean Macy and we're back at Angler's Paradise and today we're going to be doing things ever so slightly different. Over a few glasses of port last night, the production crew got together and thought it'd be funny to set me a few different challenges. Fishing for different species on various different lakes using various different methods. Now I don't know what's to come. All I do know is that Zig here has got my very first challenge. So Zig. Here you are my friend. Give it to me mate. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous actually, I've got to be honest. Right. First challenge, go to the Specimen Orphan Tench Lake and catch a Specimen Golden North, which I've never caught before, I've got to be honest. So Zig here, I know you've got a ritual that you go through that often gives anglers a little bit of luck and I think it might tip the odds in my favour, so go for it. This will certainly give you the edge. Let me communicate with the spirits of the lake. Oh, come to me, you white spirit of the deep. Awaken from your sleep, come and taste my white port and give Dino your support. <laughs> now for it to work, I have to seal it. I have to enjoy it as well. Otherwise, it will not work. There we go. That will do. Nice little sip. How's that? Mm. Ching ching. Ah, Let the challenge begin. for about 10-15 minutes now. There's not an awful lot of fish in front of me, but there are a couple of gold north just down here on the margin spots that I fed, but I'm gonna leave them for about 20 minutes. And there's a couple that are mooching over the maggots I'm spraying in. I actually, uh, <laughs> I bag my maggots up and they ain't come to life, so I'm actually fishing with dead ones at the moment. Whether that's gonna make a difference or not, I don't know, but every now and again, a couple of quite nice orphan you know, a five pounder is a specimen, but we're talking about a couple of pound fish, which is still a nice fish. I've never caught one before, so I'd certainly settle for that. Every now and again, they come in and they start mooching around over the maggots that I'm spraying out. At the moment, I'm fishing a waggler up in the water about two foot deep. I'm not sure whether it's the color of the fish or the fact that they are really high up in the water, but I think I might actually have to come a little bit more shallow than that in a minute. But whenever this wind stops blowing so strong, I think I've got a really good chance, but uh, it's awkward, but I feel like we're, we're not far away from a fish, hopefully. Gotcha. There we go. That is my very first Golden North on the line. Oh my God, that is a massive fish. Oh, me net. Please don't fight too hard, baby. Please don't fight. There's only been a few fish cruising around under the surface. There's not been many at all. Two or three coming in at any one time. But, oh, come back here, come back here. And I didn't think we was going to get a take. I absolutely didn't think we was going to get a take, to be honest. We need two or three fish to go for the same bait at once to create the competition. Oh, oh, it's thrashing around like a good one. And we never had it. We never had two or three fish at any one time go for the bait. But this one, I've got to be honest, I thought I mucked it up. I chucked the float, I feathered it down, and it slapped straight on top of its head. And I saw it. I mean, you'll see when the fish comes in, the colours of it is amazing. But... I could see its pecs just splay out. It saw the maggots just wafting down through the surface and it turned around the Adam. The float dipped ever so slightly. I lifted into it and it was on. It's a good fish. It's not a monster. Oh God, oh, I'm shaking like a leaf. And this is possibly one of the nicest looking. Oh, this is the danger point. This is possibly one of the nicest looking in the lake. It is absolutely stunning. It looks like a goldfish. It belongs in a fish tank, not in a lake. <laughs> Zig Gregorek, thank you very, very much for stocking these fish because I've driven nearly 300 miles down to Angler's Paradise. I lost sensation in my left leg. We got here two days ago. And this is what I came for. This 
moment in a second if this awesome looking fish slides over the net. Get in the net, please, 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 please. Yes! <laughs> that's a stonker. My God, that's a big fish as well. Oh, oh. shaking, absolutely shaking. Well, there you go, guys. I drove 300 miles down here to Devon at Angler's Paradise. And this was one of the main reasons, a golden off. Absolutely stunning. I could see this, as you can imagine, swimming around about two foot below the surface. I dropped the float just in front of it and it took it straight away. I've inspected it and it is absolutely fin perfect. That, my friends, has got to be one of the most attractive fish I've ever caught in British waters. Absolutely stunning. Now let's take a look at the rig.